Now, much like yesterday, I am the very tired man, but before I head off to bed, I would quite like to relax with a bit more of Harvest Moon back to nature. So we're back to this. And there have been quite a few improvements on our farm since we left off. As ever, give Homer a hug and whistle to him, and check out what's on TV. Not a single rainy day this summer, which is amazing, even though it's unlikely to rain during summer days. You would expect one by now. And everyone's favourite life on the farm. Farmer Fran, Farmer Fran, what were we talking about yesterday? Well, this is pertinent since we have now bought ourselves four sheep and four cows. But you can only get the wool from the sheep every seven days, so that's a bit harsh. And we'll have to go and get some clippers anyway, so we are due a visit to the blacksmith. Roger that. It's also worth noting that today is the fireworks festival. So we better go and check that out tonight. But before all that, we've got to tend to our farm. Then again, if you are uh, taking care of animals, and now we are, you benefit greatly from checking out the barn first. Because if you go straight to the barn, all of your animals are going to be right next to their feeders. And although it's a bit tedious, you should talk to all of your animals, since it boosts affection by three, and feeding them boosts it by one. Brushing them does not affect them. So Shitatsu looks happy today. Enrique, they look happy, because they're not dead. Higgins is always happy. And then there's the master. So the reason I got eight of them is because the backpack can hold eight slots, so it makes it that bit easier to pick up just the right amount of feed, that is, and throw them into the feeders. Doesn't matter which one you put them into, as long as there are eight feeders full, then it'll feed all of my eight animals. If one of them was pregnant, I'd chuck an extra one here into the pregnancy box. I might as well do that just once to show that it actually works. Would you look at that? Technology. Also pays to keep Caesar happy. It's funny that brushing the other animals has no effect, but if you brush Caesar, he's nice and happy. And yet talking to him has no effect. Brushing is meant to affect everything, so I can only assume there was a bit of a bug when they're working on that. And people call Paradox Games buggy. Know your roots. <clears throat> Other than that, I need to keep taking care of my pineapples. They have one good harvest left for me, and I can't wait to be rolling in that money. And after we get the next pineapple batch, I can and will just cut all of these down and get ready for the fall harvest. I've got my eyes on those tomatoes, don't you worry. We'll be getting those. Being called out here just because other games have bugs doesn't mean that Paradox games don't. Uh, all games have bugs. Now, I'm gonna want to... hold on, where's my sickle? I'm going to need to grab that later on, but uh, I should not forget that. Since another thing I want to do is get that sickle upgraded. So I can have all my tools fully upgraded except for the hammer because nobody in the world cares about the hammer in this game other than getting it to silver. Since none of the villagers are going to be kicking about since it's a festival, there's no need for me to run around and meet and greet them. And rub gifts in their face to make them like me, I can just take care of the one thing that I truly love. My money-making farm. Now we made a ton of money off of the pineapples earlier, it's astonishing just how quickly we managed to get through all of that. But, as I said, I expect one more harvest out of my pineapples, barring a truly horrible attack of the old hurricane. P 
Polo2102 is yelling, Hoi4, can't wait. Well, me neither, but the lucky thing is I don't have to wait. I have Hoi4 on tap. And if you think I'm saying that just to brag, then you could well be completely right. Because I really enjoy Hoi4. The difficult question is which do I prefer, Hoi4 or Stellaris? I'm not sure if I answered that earlier. And maybe I did give a committing answer, but right now I cannot. So, ignoring the hammer because we never ever need it again unless we're clearing out uh, tilled parts of the field. Yeah, that is one use for it, but not a use I think we're going to need it for because the thing is, you can just re till uh, part of the soil. And then even if you put seeds there, it'll make it back to normal. So, yeah. Jake, you certainly gave an answer. It was hoy. Okay. If you don't have... if or rather, if you have adult cows and you do not have a milker, I recommend you buy one. Says the blacksmith who sells them. If you have sheep, you should have clippers to shear your wool. Again, the blacksmith that sells clippers. I can't fault Saibara's business sense with males like that. Now, it's a holiday, so I suspect that Zack will not be coming and collecting our crops, but... It's a bit of a special holiday since it's the fireworks festival that only takes place at night time. If that makes a difference, I'm not entirely sure. When I played a lot more of this game, that was something I would be very sure about, but... It's been a while since I've played this game. Which is good, one shouldn't really binge on a relaxing game like this. Ah, Hoi 4. The thing is, there are so many nations that I want to play as for my first proper streamed run of it. But it's hard to decide. I mean, Albania is certainly up there, but... Hmm. What about a Thunder Dragon Empire? What about San Salvador? What about maybe finally playing Tibet for that one guy that keeps demanding a Tibet playthrough? Okay. No ill intentions here of me equipping the scythe before entering the chicken house, I assure you. I just want to grab this egg. No, that's not an egg. That is an egg. What do I want to do with this, though? I'm thinking of just going and boiling it. In fact, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Chuck down one bit of feed for Popuri. And we're good. Magical Magikarp says, give us a red Luxembourg. Yeesh. So I'm going to cut down these. Not that they're really batting my path here, but I am very close to having maximum skill with my scythe. So I reckon if I cut 20 more of these, I'll be good. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... He's getting exhausted, but I'm just put your back into it. 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3. That's right, I can count. 4, 5, 6. 7, 8, and done. Maximum level. So, don't really care about the rest of these. We'll get you just because you're in my way. And we'll go soft boil that egg. What makes it soft boil? I don't even know. We're still carting around a load of grass, but I'll take care of that when we get our hoe. So I got plans for that. Would also be... Oh, that's right, I need to actually boil this thing. There we go. And I love it. Before we go and rest up, it's always good to get some wood. Here, let me tell you what you... Let me tell you what you need so that you can buy all my products. That's what advertising is. Hmm. Well, I was shilling out Hearts of Iron's pre-order. I don't think that's how I phrased it. And then again, I would say if you really like tanks, get this one, but... Uh, that's business, right? Haven't you already done a Tibet playthrough, Jake? 
I played Tibet in a multiplayer game of Europe Universalis. It went interestingly. But I lived. And my neighbor Umbasa died. That's what he gets for trying to annex me. Want to check how we're doing on the wood situation. 256 ain't bad, but I think you need quite a lot for the extended barn. I want the extended barn because it's going to make it a lot easier to feed all of my cows. It's cows and sheep, that is. Not because I particularly want more cows and sheep. If I was going for a 98% run, which is the highest percent you can get in this game, then yes, I would want full cows and sheep, but it's a real pain to look after more than eight, or rather more than nine of them. Jake, are the national focus trees of relevant countries in Hoi 4 engaging and fun enough, or is the country's location the most engaging thing about irrelevant countries? Irrelevant I think it's a relative phrase there, because when I played Albania, they were anything but irrelevant. I guess it's all in how you see it. The highest is 98%. I've never even played this, and that's infuriating. Uh, they did not code enough. Oh, shoot. Never let that appear. All it takes is another one, and you're blocked from going there. Uh, yes, I read out a question and didn't even answer it. That's, uh, that's me at work there. Hmm. What even was the question? Is it the national focus trees that's more fun, or is it their location that's the most engaging thing about it? The national focus tree is generic for the non-majors. At least they are right now. So, I wouldn't say that's the most engaging. The choice that you go down it is, whether you want to make yourself a military power or get all political and change how you view things, but eh, we can readdress that once this festival is over. Now time is actually frozen, so if you really want to cheese this game, bring your basket to the beach or any other place that has a body of water, during a festival that is, and then you can go fishing. Now I, I've said it before, really do not enjoy the fishing aspect of this game, Bloomin' Boots. The reason we bring the basket is that it acts like a bin. If you throw anything into the basket that cannot be sold, such as these boots, then you can throw them into the basket and it's not going to have any effect on littering and will not take up a space in the basket. I feel like the game is on to me by giving me garbage like this. But I'm not going to stop until I get a fish. Or until I get really bored of fishing in this game and that does not take long. I'm only regular bored of it at the moment. But it's alright, it's a festival. We're meant to enjoy it in our own ways. But this is a fireworks festival where we can talk to a girl and have them join us for the pretty fireworks. I believe if we can't get or refuse all of the girls to join us, then Kai will join in. Alright, if I get three more bits of garbage, I'm giving up this. Jake, thanks for the perfectly politically correct answer. Uh, the fun of a nation is what you make it in Hearts of Iron. Oh, Jinx, this is going bad. I mean, you're playing with the hindsight for World War II. So you could go as good guy Germany if you really want. Okay, that was incredibly disappointing. One more for the road. Maybe the game is on to me and only gives you garbage during a festival, but I don't want to believe that. Alright, one more, one last shot. The doctor, I feel, is mocking Marvin here. And sometimes just one doesn't want to give me anything. Fishing in the ocean is hard, the timing for it is pretty nasty, but also the amount of garbage I'm getting is uncanny. Alright, forget this. I've clearly been a bad man. How's it going, Doctor? How about you, Ellie? Now, we're not going to be having her. She's too easy. But then there's Mary. 
but I'm not a fan of the Megani. How's it going, Cliff? Yeah, the lore in this game, pretty deep. Now, the real shame is that Grey's grandpa is not the one that's here. How about you, Popuri? Now, Popuri is in love with us. That throbbing green heart is very telling. But I am not a fan of pink hair, so we'll leave you be. But then there's Karen, and she is the one that we're meant to be romancing in this playthrough. So she's even coming on to us. Is there somebody you want to watch with? But I just can't. How's it going, Rick? I'm going to leave Rick to that and see how he can mess it up with you, because there is one heart throb for me right here. How's it going, Anne? That's pretty cute. Wasn't that just a heart-throbbing night? How did it go for you, Rick? <laughs> what, what is that face trying to convey? <laughs> How was it for you, Karen? She's just thinking of her mom and dad. I hate to say it, Rick, but I don't think things went so well for you there. I believe the implication is that everybody else watched it with their significant other here. So for Pur Puri it would have been Kai, Mary it would have been Grey. Cliff would have been able to watch with Anne, but uh, I stole her heart and her body away. And the Doctor with Ellie. See, the Doctor is the only one of these people that actually looks adult, so... Perhaps Ellie is a gold digger. But Harvest Moon Doctors don't tend to be the ones that uh, steal all your money. Magical Magic Art says, what is a significant other? Well, when a man and a woman really like each other. Ah, no. We keep things PG-13 around here. Now, nighttime events usually push you into the following morning, so that's why it was important for us to get our uh, get our crops all picked and watered the night before. But we need a name for our new chicken right now. I can't even remember what we named the rest of them. One of them's called Papuri, and I've forgotten the name of the other chicks. So you better give me a name. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight characters to work with. So keep it quick. I'm not calling my animals Rick. And sadly, there is not enough room for Adolf sandals. Well, I got two votes for Thagnus. So that's what we'll go with. There you go, Thagnus, you double dragon master. Jake, I love seeing you playing this game. Can I ask if you have a very hard EU4 campaign planned? Of course I do. Uh, part of me was planning on playing it this week, but I have been extremely tired this week, so all I want to do is play a relaxing game like this. We were still holding on to the basket the whole time. I love you, Homer. Let's see what's happening on TV. Thankfully, still no hurricanes on their way. It was just the one. The game didn't want to punish us more. But what's on our favorite show, Life on the Farm? Farmer Fran, Farmer Fran. Yes, Jimmy. Is there anything else I need to know about taking care of sheep? 
Water is same, pasture same, brushing same, as in brushing is useful. If you want to get a sheep pregnant, you must use sheep miracle potion instead of cow miracle potion. Uh, that just raises uh, some more interesting questions. So Mechbot Ultror is on summer vacation yet again. Which episode is this? Seven. I think I'm going to give up on reading through these because I have lost the plot. If indeed there was a plot to begin with. Jake, aren't the hardest E4 campaigns the ones that relax you the most? You still remembering Nevers there? Nevers was very relaxing. I enjoyed Nevers so much. So relaxing, it took us over 50 years to grab a province. It's one of the nice parts of having chickens, as they will actually make noise when you wake up. Also, it seems our corn is ready, and corn is worth a reasonable sum of money. As ever, we are talking to all of our animals. Shitatsu looks happy today. Who else looks happy? Of course, Rance would be happy. He was enjoying some uh, sheep miracle potion. Now, you can hire the harvest sprites to look after your animals for you, but they don't actually give the animals the affection that you so dearly need. So each day, if all goes well, is going to give four affection for my animals. It's either going to be three or four. Okay, man, I should have gotten rid of some of my stuff here. Let's do just that. I really look forward to having a big old, uh, bigger barn anyway, so it'll give me room, more room to maneuver. That should do us. A four, a five, six, seven, and one more for the road. I'm not feeding them my egg. That is for Anne. Because boy, do we love Anne. Did I take one too many? Of course I did. Because more is more, as Bjorn has taught me well. Metal Slime Hunt says, I don't know if anything will ever trump permafrost for me. It could be Giga Muscovy, but I think I liked watching Jake get smacked down. <sighs> it's pretty bad for my ego, but I think a lot of people seem to enjoy me getting smacked down in this game. The Smorganator says, Jesus, who named these poor animals? Listen, when your name is The Smorganator, I don't think you can be criticizing other people's choices of names. Now, I can't remember how long it takes corn to regrow, but something in me is thinking we're not going to get another harvest out of these once we pluck these ones so I'll probably just forget about them however we got some presents for Anne don't we and Anne will probably be at the hot springs just chilling just jiving as she does let's pick that up shall we it's not easy one two three four Five? Do I really need more than five chickens? The answer is I really do not. So five will do. I think we'll keep a hold of this one. Only one of you needs fed for now. And we'll keep on moving. Here you go, Anne. We'll get you up to Blue Heart yet. And then there's Popuri. We could just give her weeds, but I think we should give her something a bit more special than that. And that is why she's so easy. Especially in summer.
Jake, what does the spa do for you? Sitting in the spa for one hour will, will restore all stamina. Can't remember if it's yellow or orange we get to next when it comes to the hearts, but we'll get there. Seducer Makuna subscribed for 22 months. That makes my stream feel old. Holy smokes. Reminder that I was never in this for the money, and the fact that people throw money at it continues to bamboozle me. And yes, I am torn on the inside because my love for money transcends realities. Yeah, it's a shame that Gots isn't there to help us out, but I think on Friday he heads into town. I'm sure there are several different things I've said that I'm sure Gots does on these days, and I'm usually wrong. In fact, there he goes, just to prove me wrong. I will not have the money for what uh, for the barn upgrade. And I certainly won't have the wood, but I should talk to him and figure out what he wants. Ugh, how are you doing, Lewis? Oh, he's a weird one, isn't he? How's it going, gods? I wish to enlarge my barn. Loads of money and loads of wood. I assure you that is not currently okay, but I really want that larger barn, so I will be investing in that as soon as I can, and as soon as I can is probably pineapple o'clock. But we got other people to make us happy today. So we dealt with the chickens, we have not yet watered everything, and that is currently unforgivable. Let's take care of that. I can worry about harvesting my crops shortly. It's not going to make a difference for any of the current plans. I think it's only a couple thousand to be made from all those, uh, all those bits of corn, maybe a little bit more. If it weren't for the... Oh shoot, there is something I want to do, so let's forego the watering just for a wee moment. Two things, in fact. One is I want to see if that hoe of mine is ready. Better check on my money as well. Mm, don't quite have the money to be putting in my sickle, but I'll be getting it done. Looking shiny. Now a fully leveled up hoe isn't all that great, it will save you a little bit of time when sorting out your fields, but only if you shape up your fields all that much. Since our fields are all ready as we want them, it's not too big of a deal. There's something else I want to do, and that is pop by and see my favourite heart throb mana. Now I know Karen is our target, and Anne does capture her heart, but they are but little girls compared to the beauty that is mana. She's so cute. I think I used to try drawing her when I was young. So we're getting the whole backstory about Joanna having left Old Man of the Yodel Ranch. Barley said that if Joanna comes back to take May, he won't allow it. Okay, so we're getting a whole load of spiel out of you. I hope I'm not too late, because I came here for one thing. And you're not giving it to me, mana. Viewer reduction strats aren't working that good, Jake. Nonsense. Things are going just fine. If she keeps blabbing on about Joanna, then my plan will have failed here.
Hmm, perhaps I arrived a little too late. I was hoping to come and buy some booze. The true viewer reduction strat is heading over to Hitbox. I can't fail that. Okay, I was too late. Hmm, this puts me in a bit of a conundrum. What am I going to do for my plan here? Okay, well... I'm not without a backup plan. I never am. Let's ditch those for now. It's Friday, so the shop will be open. I'll deal with my crops for now. Now, I don't even know if these tomatoes are going to have another harvest for me. going back and forth like a yo-yo here, but being late to the booze cruise set me back on something there. I thought you only drew maps when you were younger, Jake. Well, what am I meant to say to that even? The only maps I drew when I was younger were uh, old RPG maps like Swords and Serpents, where you had to map it out. Because the game could only hold, I think, one or two maps in its memory and would overwrite them when you moved floors. And it just takes one bloomin' zoom tube to cast that all out the window. Hi, good evening, Marvin. Always a pleasure. Hope you're doing well. No, I was uh, terrible at drawing maps. And that translated to me just being terrible at Europa as well. Right, so we are going to... Oh, I can't resist. Karen's got to get one. We haven't been treating you good enough lately. That's alright, as long as it has you in it. It is perfectly well stocked. But we're going to wrap up these flowers. Costs a bit of money. A hundred ducats. We can afford that. Whilst we're here, I think I'm going to do this. I'm very tired, Marvin, but uh, just relaxing as I do best. Let's grab 50 units of this fish food. He delivers it straight to our farm because he's a nice guy. Even though he's up to his ears and bills again. Now, where is our main man, Thomas? Because, Thomas, a little birdie told me it's your birthday. Happy birthday. Now, I don't actually know how much he likes those flowers, but he got them. I wanted to go and buy him some wine, and that would have been a 45 increase in relations, but... I was just a little too late. Two threshers, and I got nothing. Otherwise, I don't think there's much for us to do in town. I could have brought more gifts to woo everyone around here, but... Too bad. Oh, I want to visit the Duke, though. I mean, how badass do you have to be that your actual name is Duke? My animals stay indoors. They never know the light of day. enough time to get these corns shipped out. So does anyone know how long it takes corn to regrow? I mean, I have the documents on my computer, but I don't want to pull them up right now. That goes against the spirit of the game. How long did it take? 14 days for them to reach this full stage? I would get 5 days for them to hit it? Hmm... I'd feel like a right fool to go five days and not get, uh, not get more, but... Alright, we can do this. 
easy money. How's it going, Zach? He knows it. Even though it's summer, it does get dark fairly quickly around here. Platinum Wolf is confirming that it's four days, so I would be losing out on money if I did not water all these. And hey, the whole aim of the game is making loads of money. And maybe wooing some ladies along the way, so... We'll keep tending them. But that should have given me sufficient money. There we go, seven grand to level up our sickle, and then that'll do me forever having to level up my tools again. I guess if I was a mental completionist, I could go for leveling up my hammer all the way to Mr. Hill. But my days of being an utter completionist are behind me. On that note, I fired up Final Fantasy X Remake on the Vita. I don't know why I was on a bit of a Final Fantasy X bender earlier in the week, just listening to the music and watching some scenes from it. I think I watched the cinematic version of Final Fantasy X. Just cut out all the gameplay and uh, had them had the cutscenes from it, but I digress. I loaded it up on my Vita and I thought, you know what, I wouldn't mind taking down a few of the Dark Aeons. Something like that, just to get the blood rushing. Only to find that I had actually killed all of them and Penance. Now if all that means absolutely nothing to you, uh, Penance is an optional boss in the game that, even if you're really good, is going to take you at least half an hour to fight. For me, first time I fought him, it took over 70 minutes. 7-0. And I was such a perfectionist that I... Oh, there's hundreds of hours of modification to do to your... Uh, to your leveling system in the game. To make you strong enough to fight that monster. So when I say my perfectionist days are behind me, I'm saying, well, maybe a couple of years ago it was still there. A wee bit. Great game, though, Final Fantasy X. We all know that in the end, Jake only has a red heart with Gil. Can't Gil get a lick? Can you get the people to hate you, Jake? Yes, you can. You can give them a whole load of gifts that they really do not like. And it's a very fast way to make them not like you. Oh, interestingly, you can litter around here. It's not going to affect anything. And it wasn't on my cards to do at the moment, but I might as well show it off while I'm here. If you really don't like the tree, you can just go thunk. Oh, wait. Wow, incredible. Normally the tree tries to kill you if you do this, but... Uh... Wow. That shows me. We were not exhausted, the tree actually just uh, branched us good and tried to kill us. Did a fairly, fairly good job. Well, that's one way to get to the next day. Alright, we're going to need uh, another name for our chicken before I just give it a name of my own. I'll give you as long as I need to take this drink. <sighs> this set our tree atop the hill. It gave us a berry, a berry early on in the game because we tried to cut it down and then spared its life. But if you go back on your word and try to cut it down, the tree will kill you. Shotatsu Show Dawson and Nuggets. These are some really awful names. Kiev is pretty good though. Because the Smorganator knows all about uh, good names. 
And that's it. We're not going to have any more chickens. Five is plenty. But Jinx, we slept in big time. It is midday this Saturday. So I should go out and grab some ore and get my sickle leveled up. Oh, but that might not be an option. It is a hot day, but TV shopping is available. And whilst our axe was not sufficient to cut down that cedar tree, we could buy a knife. And it only costs 3,000. Wow. That's expensive. That's very expensive. Means we can't get the sickle upgrade as well. But TV shopping comes but once a week. We're going to have to invest in that. The harvest sprites are helping me at the farm now. That's good to hear. Yeah, but they aren't working as hard as I expected. <laughs> That's because they're not accustomed to farm work. They're called the harvest sprites. Harvest sprites are pathetic at all tasks except harvesting, but they won't accept harvesting job unless you have things on your farm that require harvesting. You see where this is going. That's why you should stagger your uh, harvests if you're a mentalist who does absolutely loads of that stuff. I'm sure that noise isn't annoying at all. Alright. Hopefully my arm animals have not moved around either, but I can't tell. Can't tell till I get there. <laughs> Knife for six dollars, delivery for two hundred uh, two thousand nine hundred and ninety-four dollars. It's like that damn Penali pen set. You know the one I'm talking about. Rance is always happy. What if Enrique was Hamsburg? I probably should have stuck to the theme of names here. It went Master Devalwa, Habsburg, Enrique, Rantzil, Shitatsu, and Higgins. So, yeah, half of them. Half of them taking the Europa Creed. Platinum Wolf agreeing that those are some grade A names. I like them. And as with anything to do with my stream, if I like it, it goes. Alright, this is why I want a bigger barn. It's uh, a little annoying to have to shove these guys out of the way just to throw feed in their bins. But when we get a bigger barn, that won't be a problem. If I visited a farm and these were the names of the animals, I'd be afraid for my life. I'd certainly stay far away from rants, and I wouldn't blame anybody else who did. There we go, Caesar. Grow up fast. Now, a lot more love was put into the animals in Rune Factory, since they come and fight with you as well. That is, they fight for you, not against you. So, it's Saturday. I'm wondering if there's anything I need to buy. That's our fish food that we can now throw into the pond. We have how many fish? Ten of them. It's going to take a long time for that fish food to actually matter at all. But we're doing it anyway. I need to visit the barn... Not the barn. The inn later tonight. So let's grab this egg preemptively for our one true love. They're all very cute. I might have ran out of uh, things to name, so Princess Maker Master William might not be around. But didn't we already have a William? There he is. After Papuri, he's the top chick. So I got another thing I'm going to have to do. And I don't think I have to stop at the store for anything, so let's take care of our farm as the uh, main task today. And so we get to see the upgraded hoe in action. We're exhausted already because we never did properly rest up after our cedar tree expedition. Crunch. Jake, can you hit your horse with an axe or any other tool? If so, can I see you doing that by accident sometime? That makes your animals 
hate you. And I am not a fan of animal abuse. Humans you can abuse all you want, because they know better. Animals, no. I will not get behind that. Games where you have to fight dogs really distress me. So I don't think I explained what's going on here. I am sowing a whole bunch of grass seeds. Grass not to be confused with weeds, because grass is actually going to be useful for us. The best thing about grass, you do not have to water it. Jay, can you get children and name them? You can have one child in Back to Nature. I believe you can have two in the later rune factories. Keep some flowers on us. It was good to learn that Karen actually really likes these uh, pink flowers. And I really like getting this wood crunch. I gotta do my timing pretty good here because there's still a lot I need to do today. Okay, Marvin is getting extremely agitated with me. So I'm gonna let him chill out for a wee bit. Although I do really want to chop those two things right now. Actually, I will do that. I'll rest up here for just a little bit. Gets our stamina back. I suspect we're going to go face first into the ground fairly swiftly after these, though. No, we're good. I'm going to rest up proper because there's still a lot of stuff we need to do, but I also want to go and visit the inn. I need to socialize with some of the people in town, give them some gifts, including our beloved Anne and Karen. But I also need to go there because there is a phone in the inn. So curiously, given I was shilling it pretty hard earlier this week, do we have anybody in the chat who has pre-ordered Hearts of Iron 4? If so, which version did you pre-order? And if you didn't, what did I what do I have to do to convince you to get it? It's something I could say, but I will not, because I know when to keep my private life away from my business life. Wow, Nitro went full field marshal. I guess trade income is pretty high in the lowlands. Plo says no pre-ordering allowed anymore, sorry. I am not a fan of pre-orders, so I can completely get behind you there. Red Armor says in order to convince me to get Hoi 4, you have to buy me Hoi 4. <laughs> Pre-ordered standard version because we have no solid details on that expansion pass malarkey. Interesting. You'd have to stream some Hoi 4 for me to pre-order. Okay, but that I can do. So, the inn is the only place in this uh, entire village that actually has a phone. So we need to use it to call out. Our next item is this kitchen knife for 3,000 gold. Would you like to own this? Would I like to own a knife? Heavens yes. How's it going, Doug? I know you don't do takeout, but I am here for my favorite glass of water. Anne and Karen are impressed by big spenders and big drinkers, so that's what we're going for. Kane always gives us the same story. Why is he even in the game? Maybe they had plans for what to do with him and they just got uh, Floated down the river. Okay, nobody's really interested in my poisonous grasses, but you might like this. Anytime. Still can't get you to like me, though. How are you doing, Rick? I'm actually not. I have so much work to do. 
Well, I don't have any liquor for you, but I do have this. It's some poisonous grass. I thought he would have liked it a bit more since it's a forageable good, but I guess he's only interested in some of the forageable goods. Okay, I didn't know this. I thought Kai actually stayed at the beach, but no, he stays in the inn with Cliff. He's a nice guy, isn't he? How about you? You're just a full-on neat. His story is the missing 2%. Oh, and there's Nara the cat. Or Nora. Nora's not a real name. Uh, there's someone missing here. Where is Karen? She should be out enjoying a stiff drink. I guess I could stalk here for a little bit, but I don't think she's going to be coming. And I brought these flowers for her as well. Maybe Rick has her tied up somewhere. God damn you, Rick. Well, you can't win them all. In our case, we can't seem to win any. Might as well try our front door. I agree, if a farmer came knocking at 9 in the evening, I would probably keep my door locked as well. It's a shame that everybody locks up so early. It does give a bit of a closed feeling to the game. In Rune Factory 3 and 4, uh, houses are open much later, and you can actually be there watching people go to bed. And I've just realized how very creepy that makes me sound. But I'm sure some of you get what I'm at. A little sad, and we're still carrying on to these flowers with no good use for them. Uh, well... We'll finish today's farming tasks. There is still quite a lot of watering to be done. And I'm not sure I'm going to get anything out of these tomatoes. I'd love to be wrong because I love getting more money. But I don't have their regrowth rates to hand. Now when I was playing this a lot as a kid, and I was playing this a lot as a kid, I used the manual, which had all the information about regrowth times, worth of crops, um, not what people liked, but when their birthdays were. These days, anybody who uh, wants to play this game with good efficiency will use Skyrender's Hitchhiker's Guide to Back to Nature, which is the guide on how to play this game. It contains everything you could ever want to know. And unlike the manual and certain other websites out there, it's actually completely accurate. Thagnus is asking me, have you found a challenging game for your next two hours of hell? I have not. If you know of one, or want to highlight one that is already on the list, but I've been too lazy to scour out, please thump me over the head with it. Because these two hours of hells recently have been way too easy. By which I mean I've been way too good. To be fair, I am really good at games, so stands to reason that it takes quite the two hours of hell to defeat me. <sighs> so this is just what I need after a long hard day. Granted my day was neither of those things but I gotta justify this to myself somehow. Now Yagamoth has just started hosting me so, welcome all of Yagamoth's viewers. Yagamoth's a great streamer. I would say this isn't the regular content of this stream, but uh, we've been playing quite a lot of Harvest Moon lately. Just a relaxing farming simulator game. Perhaps not relaxing for our main character here, because we are working him to the bone. It is now 2.30 in the morning. He woke up, passed out from working too hard the previous night, and now we're forcing him to not sleep again in favour of just chilling out in the hot springs. Mr. Gimmick, Jake? Oh, Mr. Gimmick is pretty tough. There's no way I could ever go for a perfect ending on that one. I have seen that game in motion. It's uh, not forgiving if you want to go for best ending. 
check, have you been using the heaviest of your reduction strats again, or do people not like Back to Nature? Uh, back to Nature is not the big pooler for viewers, and that's just the way I like it. When I stream Back to Nature, it makes me very happy. It takes my mind back to the time when this stream was a nice, quiet place. With maybe 5 to 20 people watching, and the chat moving at a very manageable pace where I could actually read everything. And respond to what people had to say, and those were back in the Europa days, because people would have a lot of questions about Europa. And since it was longer ago, the overall skill level in Europa was a lot lower, and I was relatively a lot higher. So it was a lot nicer to get through all that, but those times are gone. Anytime I stream Grand Strategy, the viewership is far too high. And try as I may with viewer reduction strats, it's just never enough. Stardew feels more polished and friendly to play than Harvest Moon, but it lacks the same feeling Harvest Moon has. Indeed, true Red Devil. Stardew has the feeling of Terraria. And we've had this conversation before. I don't like Terraria. It's in the way the character moves and swings his uh, his items. It's just no man. M. Rofa says, "What are viewer reduction strats?" So a wee bit into this whole streaming malarkey, it became abundantly clear that this channel is much more popular than I wanted it to be when I set out. So every so often we have viewer reduction strats, and by every so often I mean almost every time I stream. Hold on, I'm going to interrupt that train of thought for Life on the Farm, our favourite TV show. Farmer Fran, Farmer Fran, yes Jimmy. When I want to save the game, I just open the diary, select Make Diary Entry and sleep, right? Yes, is there anything wrong with that? When I save, it goes to the next day. Is there any way to save without sleeping? Unfortunately, no. But if you want to sleep without saving, you can select Sleep Without Me. <laughs> the game is giving you the tutorial, by the way, of this program. If you've made it two seasons into the game and you can't work out saving, then there's no saving you. We're gonna ditch our flowers here. Someone did a full Harvest Moon overhaul over Stardew Valley. Oh, that's if someone did it. You got me excited there. Max telling me I'm still wrong about Terraria. Nonsense. So yes, viewer reduction strats are used fairly often to try and pull down the number of viewers because this place is just more relaxing, rewarding, all those other fancy sounding words, when the place is not chock full of people. And that is why we have such iron-fisted approach towards moderation in the chat. There used to be no moderation. And we didn't need moderation short of when we had bots approaching the channel. But now we get lots of people, they want to sling their memes around, and the place is just full of kappas and emotes and all that jazz. I just can't be having any of that. So that's a good way to keep people out of here. I mean, they, they won't be chatting if they're banned, so I can get behind banning anyone for any reason around here. That's not always enough, though, but it's a start. Okay, that is not so hot. We just threw the uh, feed onto the ground, which is not good enough. That's why I want that expanded barn. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Arkane says, I remember when Jake said he wasn't going to get mods. That was quite a while back. Cleaner, more innocent days of this channel. Okay, there is a lot of Crop harvesting to be done. Never say no to the honey. Keep the fish fed. But I want to go and woo Anne and Popuri every morning because they always drop by. Yoink. Feed for Popuri. Let's head on out. Considering that Stardew's modding scene is such genius works as lewd anime portrait mod in Geometrius Valley. Don't hold your breath. Ah, oh, damn it. M. Rofa says I was making coffee and didn't hear it. Okay, I could always say it again. I'd need a more condensed version, though. 
I like it when there are fewer people, so I embrace viewer reduction strats that ensures that fewer people are here. These range from iron-fisted mod approaches to streaming games that, frankly, nobody wants to watch. I'm trying to think what the original uh, viewer reduction strat was. It was probably Fort Zombie, given that that was quite a while back. But Fort Zombie didn't really work, it just brings in more. Not to mention it's a great game. Here you go, Anne. It is. When will you start to see me as a man? Hmm? No Papuri, though. Wonder what she's up to this Sunday. Maybe she got sick of me giving her weeds here and decided to pack in this whole morning journey. Or maybe it's a Sunday thing. I'm being asked how much Popuri the chicken loves me. Let's see, we're at four stars there, and I think that's still just small egg territory. So I need to stop by Saibara and get that uh, milker. I think I'll give these flowers to Karen. It's Sunday, I don't know where she is on Sunday. But she'll probably be in the, uh... Yoink. She'll probably be in the bar later on. Getting banned made me more interested in Jake Chats as a Soviet penguin. I like to think you're in the minority there. Banning people tends to chase them away. Occasionally I get a very amusing, angry, uh... Twitch mail from people who are banned because they can spam Kappas and all the other chats and people don't mind and they uh, they do it here and get very indignant when they're chucked out for it. Gives me a very warm feeling when that happens. Something I should probably speak to a professional about. But I think that's a weakness of uh, going for lots of viewers. If having lots of viewers is your main criterion for success, then you're going to tolerate a whole lot of crap that's going to bring down the quality of your channel, at least in my eyes. I mean, I've heard counter-arguments from people that tell me that the, the Kappa is part of the experience. And he knows who he is. Who said that? I just disagree, but the thing is, this is my channel, it'll go how I want it. And currently what's happening right now, not so many people watching, a game I can enjoy playing, for relaxation, it's what I want and it's what's happening. Even if all I'm doing is just harvesting pineapples in a farming simulator game. A lot of people just don't get the main appeal of these uh, simulation games. There's more than I really have time to harvest at the moment. That's not too big of a problem. The pineapples that I've just harvested will give us plenty for uh, plenty of money for what's to come. Ah, we'll just keep going with it. The thing is I have far less to water now because after these uh, pineapples are done. Yes, after they're done. I won't have to water them anymore and I can just cut them down. When does the stream embargo lift on Hoi 4 for you, Jake? I do not have a date for that. I will continue to not have a date for that until I have a date for that. Harvest day is always the day that the money comes rolling in. Provided it's not a vacation, because Zack does not come and collect the ducats. Or rather, bring the ducats for me. On festival days. I 
if you're really trying to min-max this game, you want to go into the barn to deposit all of your crops, since time does not pass here. That said, don't feel too bad about getting timed out in this channel. It happens to the best of us. Learn from it. Don't moan about it. And come back a better individual. Or at least better for this chat. Okay, so how are we doing on the pineapple front? Almost all of them. I don't think we're going to get quite all of them before Zach arrives with the money. A man can dream, though. Done, 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 and done right. Wonderful. He's going to be pretty happy with me as well. Which means... Just how much money has he got for us here? 57 thousand gold. No reason not to go and get, <clears throat> well, every upgrade under the sun, really. But goodbye, pineapples. I knew you well. The reason we're cutting them down is that we are not going to get another harvest out of them before the end of the season. I think it takes six days for them to regrow. The season will end on the, well, in four days. I never needed to grind that scythe earlier, this would have done plenty for it. There'll probably be some repairing I need to do of my crops, but that can come later. Jinx, I still haven't done my watering. Oh well. Now, I don't doubt that there are people that would prefer this place, by this place I mean this chat, if they could have all their fun with their uh, emotes and meme talking and all that, but it's not what I want, so it's not what happens. If they want to do that, they can go to someone else's channel. Hell, Daniel's channel likes that. But then, he's an egoist, so he just wants as many people as possible. Goodbye, pineapples. You did us good. You made us almost a hundred thousand ducats. Probably would have if we hadn't been uh, utterly destroyed by way of hurricane. Oh, how's it going, Harris? Nothing ever happens in this town. But I've caught you here, so I might as well give you some flowers. Oh! He knows we have a kitchen now, so he's teaching us how to cook. You're probably too busy to cook, so let me teach you an easy dish. You like fried rice? To make it, you heat some oil in a pan, then add eggs and rice balls. You can add other things too. So we need an oil, a frying pan, eggs and rice balls. Sugar, salt, and soy sauce. Natural born cook, this uh, naughty style policeman. Now you don't actually have that written down somewhere, so you actually you have to remember it. Oh, oh dear, I thought I could come in for a nice drink tonight, but uh, I was late because I was trying to chat up Harris. That's a shame. I wonder if we stalk around a little bit, we might catch Cadden coming out of there and give her some flowers to show her how we feel. <laughs> Do you like fried rice? Am I being detained? <laughs> Come on, Karen. Don't leave me hanging here. Oh, okay, I might care about you. He 
always uh, full of sweet talk. Kano only ever says the same bloomin' things, him and his photography. Now it's a shame we can't uh, get into the pub at this time. Oi. There we go. Let's get out our flowers for Karen. And there we go. You really don't. Eerily quiet place in the night. But I got watering to do. I'll probably need to rest before doing that. And I should probably go and uh, dig up some Mr. Ill. Then again. Then again. I'm going to have a lot of other plants here to cut down before the seasons change. Hmm. No, I think I will, uh, I think I'll put it in to get changed anyway. So it'll take 29th, 30th, it'll be ready on the 1st. Well. No, that's a Thursday, so the blacksmith will be closed, but they gave it to us last time, it should be alright. Metal slime hunting, be it the city or the country, there's always something a little unnerving about the silence of night. I think I've been in a city which is actually silent at night, and there's always some kind of noise going on. I'm going to be hard pressed to get this watering done, at least there aren't the pineapples to worry about now. I want to get some numbers on what I've harvested here though. So this summer it's been pretty good except for the onions. If I'd take, if I'd uh, plucked just over twice as many onions I'd be able to get the next summer crop. I can't remember what it is, I just remember that it's not strawberries. Strawberries are for spring. What do you get in summer? It might be the pumpkins. I'd be lying if I said I was certain about that. The sword's cut deep in this channel, Jake. I mean, I always get banned in Twitch because I make fun of moderator powers. But sometimes I'm just like, well, what would be fun about power without its abuse? Hmm. But I encourage abuse of power around here. But we are fair with how unfair we are. Because anybody, really anybody here, uh, can become immune to banning just by getting a uh, mod ship of themselves. There's a button below, or a link below, that'll show mod games you can run. And if you complete a mod game challenge, then you yourself will become a mod, no strings attached. Even some of the people who I really don't like in this channel, they can, uh, they can try it themselves as well. And if they win, they get modded. We're fair with how unfair we are, Jake's master dictate. No. Might not make sense to you, but it makes sense to me. And I'm the only one it has to make sense to. Even feche, even feche. Hate to say it, but I remember the very moment that that uh, slime ball graced this channel. It was during a trucking stream, and he got, got all upsighted because I actually said his name right. And then he wouldn't leave. I was like, stepping on chewing gum. Horrible Danish chewing gum. So Sunday night, and after stalking the bar for about an hour, just to give flowers to a girl he likes, 
Marvin is forced to stay up to the early hours. Crashbite says, speaking of Master Dictator, a Tropico stream sometime would also be nice. I quite like Tropico. Hell, I really like Tropico. I didn't get the most recent one because it looked like yet another rehash of uh, Tropico 3 and 4, which hasn't really innovated much at all. But as I said, I didn't play it. There we go, 50 minutes of sleep. I'm sure all of us have tried that at some point. It's at that level of tiredness that you start getting terrible ideas and thinking that they are strokes of genius. If I just sleep for 20 minutes here, like a power sleep, it'll give me all the energy to finish that exam that I need to do tomorrow. Thoughts like that. So again, we are halfway through a year in this game, which does take quite a long time. And the tutorial, the, the very good in-game tutorial, I must say, I really like how you get tutorial from TV in this game. I only don't like the fact that it gets interrupted whenever there's a hurricane. It is telling you how to load a game. So it's this story again about reading a book. It must be documented somewhere. Fifteen minutes of sleep, that's like bad ideas, Guy Run. Jings, I've forgotten how little sleep bad ideas, Guy Run, was done on. So little sleep. So sweaty. It was a good run, though. Damn, did I love that bad ideas, Guy Run. So I want to go and get that sickle in, as well as buying a couple of our tools. We'll have space for a couple of tools. And, hmm, might be worth my time to sickle down those tomatoes as well. So harvest tomatoes, sickle tomatoes, get the sickle in, and we should be good to go. Rance is happy. Devalwa is happy. Habsburgs are happy, of course they are. Syl is happy, she isn't happy. Enrique is happy, nobody else in Spain is happy. Shitatsu is happy. The knights are appalled. Higgins is happy, his girlfriend is not. Master is happy. Tandra has risen. So feeding animals was simplified in the Rune Factory games, but Rune Factory takes away a bit of the focus on farming to get more in on the RPG focus. I'm not saying that's good or bad, I'm just saying it's what it is. And that it's good. How are animals getting on with their relations with us? They're at one, one heart, which is better than uh, oh, William and Lucky. They don't like us at all. Thagnus and Kiev, ah, they'll see the light. No, Caesar, no. Just shove you back in there. So there's no corn to be harvested, but there's certainly tomatoes, and I'm on a bit of a timer here, but that's okay. I can harvest tomatoes as fast as I need to here. But I'm gonna keep a couple of them for myself. By a couple, I mean about three. Because I have a fridge now, which means I can store food, and I want to have some tomatoes for, you know, purposes. Might need to make some tomato ketchup with a mixer. Cooking in Harvest Moon games has 
gotten so, so much better in later versions. It's no longer just guessing if something is going to work or not. Rune Factory 4 had a pretty good system where you could actually set the number of something you, you wanted to make. And sometimes you wanted to make a lot of it. So, people are suggesting a Bad Ideas Stellaris run, and truthfully I would have to get a lot better at Stellaris to truly understand what a Bad Ideas run would uh, entail. I'm having that. Cheers. I can stick those tomatoes in my fridge later on. Is there anyone streaming Stellaris who is actually really good at the game? I guess if Wiz ever streams it, he's really good at it. So Papiri already likes us quite a bit. She'll be happy enough with some weeds, maybe. Uh, what does it take to get you on our good side? I could give her weeds, but with her favourite gift right next door. I should really just pick these up. Now the thing about autumn in this game, or fall if you're American and fat, is that it is the season for making loads of money. But we've already made loads of money, and I want to focus a bit more on the villagers than my farm from now on. See, money is a wonderful thing, but if you have it, there's no need to worry, so. Where are we going from here? I think we should head into town. After sickling down our tomatoes, that is. get the tools from Saibara and get this upgraded. Probably going to regret not upgrading this sooner because it's going to be a pain doing my crops for fall without having a good sickle to sickle all this stuff down ahead of time. Well, that's a trouble for future Marvin. Sea Space Echo saying, Jake, I added four games that frustrated childhood me in the two hours of hell list, three of which I still own, and a rental that should not have been. I will have to investigate. So first and foremost, Saibara, I demand a tool. I need the clippers. They cost two grand. Okay, well let's try and not milk our cows with clippers. That would be a terrible mistake to make. Nor should we clip our sheep with uh, milkers. But there we go. We got it all and I want to improve my tool. So I don't need an explanation on how to do it. I just do it. Girls' presents and mayonnaise makers cannot be accessed until... oops... until winter. When you get to the winter mine. You could cheese it a bit by winning big on the horse races and buying some oricalcum. We did not win big on the horse races. In fact, we lost all of our money on the horse races. It was not our proudest moment. Jake, do you have anyone above Purple Heart? Karen is it blue? Popuri is it green? Mm, I think that's it. Ellie and uh, Mary are not going so hot. So I'd like to hit up Gots and get ourselves a barn upgrade. We could easily pay over the odds for the lumber, but I could just as easily chop down a bit more, just to bring ourselves a little closer. Argentov says, has Jake ever played through winter in this game? I have played years and years in this game. But on stream, this is a first. What 
about the most important one, mana. <sighs> There's no way of seeing villagers' affection towards you. I think it goes from 1 to... or 0 to 255. But there's no indication of what it is. Rune Factory is really improved on that by actually giving you a bar and a number to show their affection towards you. So I've got, let me get straight to the point here. I want upgrades. I got 436, I think you said it cost a bit more. Aye. Well, that ain't happening, so. We shall buy some lumber. We're gonna buy a hundred of it. Uh, we can't quite buy a thousand of it. Five grand well spent. Veteran Vandal says, I want to see DDR Jake play so many games. It is so unfortunate that I do not have enough dosh to bribe him when you don't have a spare. $5,000 sitting around to force me to do another three mountains. Damn, you are so Swedish gods. There's work to be done, let's do it tomorrow. Because it's time for Fika on Monday, right? Probably having some honey biscuits with Lewis and Harry there. Oh well, I still want to head into town to flirt with some people, particularly Karen. We have not been riding that one hard enough. Uh, how are we doing for food for our animals as well? We've got plenty of cow and chicken feed. The cow feed we will never have to buy more of, the chicken feed. The chicken feed is a bit frustrating because you only can buy it 99 at a time. But if we're only consuming 5 per day, it's not too bad. Every member of Jake Chat contributed five ducats. We could force Jake to play three mountains again. I'm a man of my word. Denver dream of not being. So, one, we meet again. Get a shy, get a shy. Yes, I have come to buy something because I need to get ready for fall. And what's good in fall are green peppers, I believe. Green pepper seeds cost 150. Plant them in fall. Sell them for 40 gold apiece. So, uh, not so great, actually. But we're going to buy them anyway. Eh, four should be fine. That'll give us eight times four times as many times that they respawn. I don't know how many times green peppers do respawn, but I'll get four of them anyway. Truce break the man of his <laughs> Things that got me laughing so bad I accidentally uh, stumbled into one's business deals again. You're not always there, one. You're there for a few hours each day. Jake, you may regret giving a number to the three mountains <laughs> attempt. Yeah. Oh, that's right. I'm glad we ran to Mary here because we need to flirt with her a bit more. And she loves poisonous grass almost as much as we love giving her poisonous grass. Can confirm that? Red grass gathered up in the mountain? You shouldn't eat it because it's poisonous, but you can sell it. I could sell it, but Mary's heart does not have a price tag on it. And then there's Karen, who we do love, so have some flowers. Again, giving us this same spiel about the ill-stocked Supermarché. And then... <laughs> Is there anything better than hearing about other people's misfortune? Things. World conquest as Hyeda would be hell. I don't even want to uh, see the doctor here. Oh, we done good. We should be seeing about setting up our farm for fall.
See, Dosh for something is perfectly acceptable, but I really want, like what Dinner Fork did, where he actually made it a bit of a wager. He said I'd get the money if I beat Streets of Rage within two hours. You better believe I beat that game. Bit of a strain towards the end, because it's difficult to fight against Gun with bare fists, but we got there. So I'm going to want to keep this looking fairly good. These, uh, these weeds are going to get everywhere. I should probably just deal with them. Nah, I can pull them out for now. It's not costing us anything, right? So we'll be able to uh, plant some green peppers here. Some sweet potatoes there. Are there other regrowables? Well, we got plenty of space for growing stuff. That said, though, I feel like there could be... Like, there's a gap here that I'm not so fond of, but the grass is important, so there it stays. I guess adjacent to the grass could be where we keep the non regrowables It's less of a hassle to get working on those. So it'll require one, two, three, one, two, three. KevDev says sweet potatoes are the autumn cash crop. Oh, I'm well aware. I believe it was a mistake by the devs to make them so incredibly expensive. As in making you loads of money. One, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, but that starts infringing on our regrowable area, but I don't think I really care because I don't want to have that many regrowables. One, two, three, four, five. We'll be okay. Loads of room for the non regrowables. Let's get ourselves all rested up, and then it's time for Marvin to finally get some good old sleep. Potatoes are a spring crop, so never mind those in uh, autumn. I forgot I'm still carrying on to all these all these tomatoes. I'll just throw them into the fridge. Mistake by the devs? Like how your brush doesn't work on the animals? This game is full of glitches. Glitches and bugs and oversights and all that, but... Find me a game that doesn't have bugs. I guess maybe Pong, but I'm sure there's some out there. Yeah, sweet potatoes regrow every three days. Each one sells for 120 gold. Sweet potatoes will make you even more money than pineapples on the field. However, in a hothouse, pineapples are superior. Provided the hurricane does not come and uh, blow that hothouse away. Hoi for hopefully, Jake. <laughs> uh. No Paradox game has bugs. That is me reading it from the chat, not making some kind of official Paradox statement towards bugs. We have quite a few statements relating to bugs in our games, why they exist, and why we will never have a bug-free release. But the thing about Paradox is, we go and we fix those bugs. I did seat all my chickens, right? It's good to have a routine and stick to it in this game, but yeah, there we go. I bet you're William. How are you doing? Yes, William. Ugh. Similarly disgusting. There we go. Bed Chamberlain William doing fine. Sweet potatoes are like upgraded potatoes. They're so delicious. And let's not forget this. It's a free 60 gold. Tragic. Anyway, one of the games already in the punishment list, Jake, I wanted to see being played is Silent Hill. Is Silent Hill in the punishment game list? It's probably on the two hours of hell list, and I will play it someday. I just... Uh, 
Uh, is all I can say about that. I love Silent Hill 2. And I could probably do it within two hours, but I would need to practice, and I hate practicing for two hours of Hells. In fact, you probably count on one hand the number of two hours of Hells I put any amount of practice into. I love you, Homer. And that seals it. Not a single rainy day this summer. Certainly not based in Sweden, this game. So now we're getting some pertinent questions. Refrigerator and cabinet. Edibles in the fridge, inedibles in the cabinet. Fun thing is you can put something like hot milk into the fridge and there it will remain for years on end. Still hot, still milk, and still delicious. So Naru's going to teach us tomato juice. How wonderful, because we did just buy, uh, we did just grow uh, some tomatoes. But you need a mixer and some salt. Ugh. Not sure I'm sold on the idea of that being delicious. Why would you need practice, Jake? Peyton did one shot. I painted one shot of, uh, oh, Zack, to what do I owe the pleasure? Does anyone know what Zack loves? I would like to know. I'm sure that makes sense in Japanese, but uh, in English for your delivery man to smile and say, I delivered it, it's a bit creepy. It's a shame that brushing these guys doesn't make them any happier, because brushing the animals is uh, kind of enjoyable. Look at that. You ever brushed a cow? It feels pretty good. It's like having a big warm canvas bag of sand to touch. Cows are every bit as intelligent as horses, and powerful, if not more so. Got headbutted by a big black horse one day. I had a lot of respect for that guy. So there we go, it's time to start making a bit of money off of our animals here. It's not going to be much money, but it, uh, they'll more than pay for their feed. And the more they like us, the more they're going to give us. I think our cows are still too small to give us the goods. Yeah, we're, we're certainly not getting milk out of that. So there we go. Wool S. Soft wool sheared from a sheep. Just a small amount. If we had a yarn maker, it could make us a lot more money. But yarn maker is super expensive, so let's just quick you into here. Jake, were you one of the people who went cow tipping at night? Absolutely not. I like animals. And uh, cows are very useful because they'll tell you when it's going to rain or not. It's the only thing we have left to water, and it better give us goodies tomorrow, or else uh, it's been a bit of a waste not just cutting these down on site. Ho oh, ho, that's looking good, but it's not good enough. We grew grass there, but it's not yet ready to cut. There we go. I'm not interested in getting that many more chickens. They make money, but it's just a small and regular amount. And I'm not interested in small money. 
The only thing I'm really using the eggs for anyway. In fact, how many have I even shipped? A grand total of none of them. I'm getting eggs because they help chat up our beloved Anne. Well, whilst she's on her way, we could at least look really manly. Okay, I'm not going out of my way for you today. Here's some weeds. Goes well with your intelligence. Oh, let's not give Anne the wrong thing here. Jay, can you just hibernate till autumn? Summer music is awful. It'll be autumn in two days. Or we could enjoy the city music. Which is really good. Out of the way, rabbit. Crunch. So I have an idea. Where did that rabbit go? Come here, rabbit. Let's go on a trip. I don't think... Yeah, Gots is uh, hard at work building up my barn right now. And unlike the rare beetle, you're hopefully not going to run away on me. does not want to acknowledge us. Ooh, I got a plan though. Mana. Hope she's open today. I mean, I hope Anja's winery is open today. Okay, only closed on Saturdays. Seems a bit strange that you'd go into someone's kitchen to buy wine from them, but have a look at my rabbit here. You're not only kind, Marvin, but pure, too. Stu does the same thing a lot, but he also likes to show me things he knows I hate. Still, everything he does is cute because there aren't very many children in this village. Oh, that's... How odd. Okay, everybody's loving to share their recipes with me. Ohitashi greens. Make sure you remember this. Write it down if you have a piece of paper so you don't forget. Me? Write it down? No, I like talking. Let me give you a verbal explanation. Man, you could talk to me with that look on your face all day. You are so cute. Boil spinach in a pot. Season it with soy sauce. It's easy. You say you can remember it without writing. Didn't mean to imply you're dim. Okay, talk to us a bit more, please, Mana. Yes, there is actually. Let's have some wine. And if you're ever on your way to seduce somebody's daughter, be sure to get something for the father as well. The mother we don't have to worry about. Boiled spinach with soy sauce. No wonder Duke goes to the bar every night. <laughs> Broken Holmes Town. I want to show everybody this rabbit that I found. Actually, uh, I was going to give Basil some uh, some flowers, but now I think why bother. Maybe his wife would like some flowers. Hey, Anna. No, you're not getting the wine. Here you go. <laughs> Alright, let's continue. Look at Mary. Yeah, I hear it's also home to Rare Beetle, but I'm having a bit of trouble tracking that down again. It's quite a big jump to go from Purple Heart to Blue Heart, so you've got to keep at it. 
but just talking to someone each day will up their affection by 300 if they're a girl and I think one if they are a regular villager. Nothing out of you, Ellen, but to be honest, I'm surprised you're still on the go. Fortunately for you, this is not Harvest Moon 64. How about Kano? Are you going to just talk about taking a photo of it? He's on the cusp. Actually, I forgot, it's Tuesday, so the uh, shop is going to be closed, isn't it? Well, that's troublesome for me. I wonder where Karen is. I wanted to show her the bunny. I do like it, Ellie. Uh, I could have given you the flowers, but what can I say? I wanted to wreck some homes. Jake does dropping the rabbit down in the city count as littering? I believe not. I hope not. I don't think Karen is quite the type to be hanging around at the bar in the middle of the day. Is anybody? Our favourite Anne is. But I've already talked to Anne today. Just because I want to woo her doesn't mean I want to keep talking to her all the time. Duke takes one look and thinks I'm going to be able to make some uh, rabbit pie out of this. We'll just try and drink the rabbit. Oh, Duke's such a nice guy in this. Uh, not Duke, why am I calling him that? Doug. Because Doug ends up being one of the most unlikable people in Factory 4. That's what makes it quite strange. Oh well. No sign of cannon, which is a bit of a shame. Let's just ditch the rabbit there. I've never seen a rabbit on a beach. There's nothing special about the rabbit, I just want to do uh, go around and show it to people for fun. Shit at the hot springs, Jake. Well, thank you, Kev Dev. Maybe we'll be able to get there in time. May, the five year old girl wandering around on her own because Barley has no time for that. He wishes Joanna was back to take care of her own uh, crotch demon. Karen! I like you here very much as well. Well, I don't need to worry about your father, so just drink up. Yes, you do. Let's just enjoy the, uh, the water together. Except when I see water, I see money to be made. Rune Factory 3 had a girl that was crazy about fishing. Her name was Carmen. She had uh, a very touching confession scene. If you're that way inclined. Her archetype was brown, however. Don't know if it's having Karen watching that's making us underperform here, but nothing's nibbling. Truly nothing is nibbling. Ah, oh, shoot. Oh well. You're throwing us off of our game, Karen, so farewell. Jake, I thought you had your personal record of Karen's schedule. Actually, I ditched it in favor of uh, getting another list on my screen. 
Well, now I've got this and no one to give it to. I also have this, but I can always ship it. If I ship enough of the grasses, then uh, Turbo Jolt and Body something or other, we get the extra large versions of them available in the store. Ach, wheel. Hmm. I mean, I could drink it, or I could give it to Zack. Hopefully he likes his stuff. Oh yeah. So he's happy to take up produce, and he gets a birthday present. Pretty win-win for him. But there's little else for us to do unless we want to go and uh, jam goodies down people's throats, so... We'll just hit the hay, and we'll be one day closer to fall. Yes, Zach's birthday is the 29th of summer. If you think I planned that, then well done. I love you, Homer. Time for our favourite show, Life on the Farm. Are those two things you mentioned yesterday the only way to protect my animals from stray dogs? What did we, uh... I think this is out of order. We were talking about this earlier. Use the sickle, hoe, axe or hammer to attack them. That sounds kind of violent. If you think that way, then choose one of the other two methods. Okay. Game actually telling us to crush dogs. How to use seeds. The seeds go down in a 3x3 three three area around you, but it's no good just throwing them on level ground. You need to sow them in a field. If you sow seeds in the wrong season, they'll just disappear on the following day. The seeds won't grow without water. Only grass grows without water. Crops die when the seasons change, though grass lies dormant under winter snow and comes back in spring. Crops raised in hot houses don't care about seasons. Well enlightening, but if you've made it two seasons without understanding how to grow crops, then what in the world are you doing in a farming simulator game? Nice, we got our corn last day. That's all we need to worry about. Now how many, how many bits of corn have I already shipped? 92. So I don't need to ship that many of these. And I'll probably save about 8 and just chuck them in my... Oh shoot, I shouldn't be doing this. Ugh. If you don't go straight to the barn, these guys move around which makes them a lot harder to speak to. Because they start melting into each other because they're trying to produce some miracle potion. But I think we managed to get all of them without any harm or fuss. You know you get the effect if they have the heart above them and I still have enough slots in my backpack to grab all the feed so that was a lucky break. The animals are cute, right? Ah, oh, shoot. Now, I'm sure they would be very happy if I gave them some proper corn, but they're not having it. Jake, can you let Enrique die? I could, but I will not. Your villagers really do not like you if you allow your animals to die. ruins your uh, relationship with all villagers by quite a lot, including the girls. I think the girl's opinion of you is, one of, is probably the only one you should care about, unless you really want to get the happy birthday messages from people. I like to think I'll get my happy birthday message from Mana. Oh, look at that Swede. Swede. 
something I want to check about you, though. I have lumber here. Would you like some? He loves some wood. Okay, that's great to know. Makes him a very easy person to uh, keep happy. Might as well give Homer another hug. Now, I don't think there's anything I can cook yet with what I have. But sooner or later we should be able to make popcorn with that. This is something I'm going to forget over and over, but there you go. I'm running out of time if I wanted to get that boiled egg for Anne, and I always want to get Anne her boiled egg. Oh, but now I can get quite a few. This is wonderful. There are quite a few people that love boiled eggs, I just don't know who they all are. I guess I could finally ship an egg. You actually get more money if you ship a boiled egg, but it won't show up on the list of things that you've shipped. Who else likes boiled eggs? Mm, oh well, we'll take a chance with someone. Anyone, really. Jake, do you have learned recipes to cook stuff, or can you just throw ingredients in and get stuff out? You don't need to learn any recipes, which is just as well, because they're not written down anywhere. I'm going to start planting these fall seeds already. This is the worst place to be uh, putting the ones that I'm... Uh, putting those ones. I should have saved those areas for my sweet potatoes, but what's done is done. Got to catch her before she goes. Here you go. And I'm not letting you escape without your weeds. Jake, you missed an egg. I don't believe that for a second because I grabbed three eggs and I only have three egg producing chickens. Stephen Heck is asking me if there's going to be more Stellaris in the future if I'm waiting for patches. I think I will wait on the patches because the EU4 itch is returning to me. Stellaris was pretty fun, but I ended up binging. You only grab two eggs and a chicken. Well, I grabbed one egg and shoved it in the, uh, the shipping area. I threw another egg into the hot springs and then gave it to Anne, and I have one egg remaining. So, uh, I'm not well known for my mathematical abilities, but I think that's all three eggs. Any prognosis on the Caesar 3 rash, Jake? Yeah, I went to a doctor. He said, I'm sorry to say it, but you're still a casual. Now, the Caesar 3 rash acts up every now and then. There is little that you nor I can do to control it. Oh, top tip do not let your dog or your horse out in the fields during nighttime when Gots is working on expansion. They can get trapped. There, there, Caesar. Grow up fast. So how's the work coming along? Lazy git. So how are we doing on these? I think I will ship one of you. Get our watering done. And otherwise just socialize with the villagers for a bit. 
There's absolutely no need to water anything other than these. And because I don't have a hothouse, I can't buy fall crops until tomorrow. Which is unfortunate for us. Caesars never see the light of day. He's a pure... I wonder what happened if you kept a horse but didn't let it out at all. Very rough. Duke just came out of the cellar. How's it going? I really like Duke. If Aja's winery was open right now, I would be buying up some wine and giving it to you. Not a fan of the Megane, but we should uh, build some cordial relations at least. Helps with trading and with an alliance. Even Grey is kicking around here. How's it going? Maybe you like boiled eggs, but I'm not going to give you one because you can make both Grey <sighs> and Greg happy with ore. And since ore is limitless and very easy to get, there's no reason not to take that route. How's Ellen getting on? You're dripping wet. The inside of the house is cool because the sun is... But what? Why would I be dripping? Oh, maybe I'm sweaty. If you've been sweating, it's a good idea to take a bath. Otherwise, you might catch a cold. Marvin, do you have a way with the uh, elder clientele? Poor kid, if only he had a family. You know who hates boiled eggs, Jake? Rick. Alright, let's go and hunt him down. Where would Rick be on a Wednesday afternoon? Probably working hard at Chicken Lilies. No problem, Karen. How are you doing? I'm sick of hearing about your story, really, though. It is okay, Ellie. How are you? Not often enough, which is what that purple heart is telling me. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, where's that Rick? He will be grabbing a drink later on, but we might be able to drop in by chicken lilies. Shove an egg down his throat. Oh, I hope he really hates eggs. I think if you worked on a chicken farm, you probably would. Hold on, do you sell potion? Alright, I am going to invest in one of these. Just in case one of our animals do get sick, because I don't want them to die. And thinking about it, just because the, the day is about making Rick have uh, a bad time. We're going to force him to haul an enormous amount of chicken feed to our home. There we go. Please haul 99 units of chicken feed into my silo. Jake, read the big red mailbox between the clinic and the store. Apparently there's some weird stuff. It asks you if you've spoken to your mother or father lately, I believe. And that's all. Hello, Rick. Damn, I hate you. Well, that egg will give him all the energy he needs to haul that chicken feed to my big old shed. If 
For the love of God, Jake, reread the egg statement or else Rick will be your fishing rod. Ah. Hey, you just have to watch this impairment. I have to live with it. So I wonder what Rick really hates. We should bring him some of that later. Uh, we never worked all that hard today, so a short kit in the hot spring should be plenty for us, and we can get to bed and say goodbye to summer. Barcode Battler says locusts now. Zorak. Hmm. I had a line there and I completely forgot it. Zorak is the mantis, Lokar is the locust. That was it. And boy do I miss Space Ghost. A stone will do the trick, Jake. He seems to hate all the ores as well. As stones are limited in this game, so I'm not going to waste something like that on Rick. I'm sure he, along with everybody else in this game, hates junk ore. He can have some of that. Dude is actually unhappy if you bring him gold. What an ungrateful citizen. Daniel versus me at Hoi 4, who would win? Oh, it's no secret that Daniel is a monster at Hoi 4, he would destroy me. Homer grew up. Now he's old enough to uh, chase away stray dogs, he'll get better at that when I give him a ball to play with. So welcome to fall. The season for making lots of money very quickly. Crops are... Valuable, regrow quickly, and the music's fairly good as well. There's a whole load of new festivals and such as well. But I'm pretty relaxed after all that, and we've saved up, so I think we're going to call it there. Next time I stream, we will be enjoying some autumn fun in Harvest Moon Back to Nature. At least the next time we stream this game. But I am extremely tired, so it's time I hit the hay. So cheers for joining. Cheers and cheerio.